Just beyond this fence lies 96 Hidalgo County juveniles, but behind bars for one reason or another, this 100 bed facility is quickly filling up. Now, for one teen, this is his home, a place he's grown up in since the age of 10, and he says he never wants to leave. I'm scared. It's a sound Thomas has become accustomed to. The turn of a key, the slamming of a cell door. Since age 10, Thomas has been in and out of the juvenile system. Now 15, Thomas doesn't want to leave the comforts of these cold cement walls. I feel more safe here than I do outside in the front. Thomas has spent the majority of his childhood behind bars. While other kids were learning math, Thomas opted to join a gang at only seven years old, learning the science behind how they operate. He says a few adult role models in his life did the same. So the gang lifestyle is all he knows. I never liked the free. Never liked. I just, since, because I had some, you know, relatives, uncles that were always locked up. Now I always wanted to be like them. So it's just, for me, it's just like a dream come true. To live that dream, Thomas has had to surrender his free will. When asked to do something, he says he can't refuse. Beat up people and drive bys, a lot of stuff. He can't get out. It's like a drug and he's addicted. I just like the gang banging. It's not a good way to live, you know, but sometimes it just runs in your blood that you grow up to be a criminal. But the life of a gang banger comes at a price, a price he and others don't think about until it's too late. Well, I am scared because you never know one day you're here and the other day you're gone. You never know what's going to happen in a second. One second you're here and the other one, someone could come by and just shoot you or do anything to you. Unfortunately, more and more children in the Rio Grande Valley are choosing this path. These uh, cartel, cartels and, and, and uh, other members from, from uh, across the border, you know, they're recruiting these juveniles. They're an easy target, you know, and pretty much they already know the Texas judicial, you know, judicial system that, you know, they're pretty much going to get a slap in the hand. Casey says the promise of easy money lures many of these kids into drug and human smuggling. You're going to place yourself in jeopardy. You can place your entire family in jeopardy. They already know where you live. They know what you drive. They pretty much follow you around and, and, like I said, without disregard. Casey is a gang enforcement officer with the San Juan Police Department. He says this type of lifestyle does come with high risks, but it can also have high rewards. And Casey says more kids are joining gangs for that chance. A disturbing fact for Hidalgo County is that over 50% of the kids who grow up behind these cement walls will graduate to the adult system by the time they turn 18. The crimes are out there, you know, we're getting our heavy hitters now. Joe Ochoa Jr. is the facility administrator for the Hidalgo County Juvenile Detention Center. He says in 2011 they processed over 773 kids, 355 of them committing felony offenses. Fast forward to 2012, those statistics are drastically changing. As of October, 549 kids have been processed through the system. 231 of those kids have felony offenses under their belts. Ochoa expects those numbers to double by the end of the year. Those kinds of activities that are going on in Mexico and all the illegal gang activity and violence going on over there is not going to go away. And it surely it's going to continue to influence adults and juvenile, juvenile, uh, juveniles here in this county. For 25 years, Israel Silva Jr. has worked with Hidalgo County youth. He says the crimes these kids are committing have gotten out of control. It's not going to go away. We're going to keep on getting kids. You know, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, it, you know, it, it's to a point where if it gets worse, I mean, it, it, it's, there's no telling what else can happen because of the, the nature of the, the, the behavior, the nature of the referrals coming to our department. Silva doesn't think the ramped up gang numbers will slow down anytime soon. For Thomas, all he's got is time. Time to think inside these cold cement walls about the milestones he's already missed because of gangs and what tomorrow holds. Where do you see yourself in the future when you turn 18? Probably in the federal or something. 
Since our interview, we've learned that Thomas has been sent to the Texas Juvenile Justice Department in North Texas. This is basically a prison for kids. Now, facility administrators here in Hidalgo County say they've done all they can for Thomas. Now he's in the state's hands until his 19th birthday. Live in Edinburgh, Kenny Lopez, Action 4 News.